please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like as well as turn on your notifications so you won't miss when I upload a new video. With that said, let's get on with today's video. Hey you guys, welcome back for another video. Um, so this video was so fun. Um, this video is going to be kicking off a series of videos. I'm not quite sure how many yet. Um, I know for sure at least three, but this is going to be a part of a series that is going to be geared more towards back to school. Um, I am a homeschool mom and I like to customize, customize items for my kids um, in our homeschool, especially my now third grader, Carson. So this is a sublimated tote bag I wanted to try out. I did get this tote bag or this set of two tote bags from Amazon. I will link the tote bags that I use down below in the description box if I can remember. Please don't kill me if I don't remember. Um, you can just leave me a message and I will um, add the link if I do forget. Um, but yeah, in this first part, you're just gonna see me going through and I am designing each tile. This, these particular tote bags came with nine different squares. The squares are about four and a quarter by um, four and a quarter inches um, each. So I went ahead and made those squares on my computer screen in Canva. Um, I could only fit three to a page. So I have three sheets of eight and a half by 14 and my design on the page is eight and a half by 14, if that makes sense. And I just have my three equal squares. I did make the squares a little bigger at, I believe, 4.3 by 4.3, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and you're gonna see me designing these. Um, I added my daughter's picture in the middle. Canva has a great background remover that I love using, so I did use that in this um, video as well. And I'm just adding some random school related uh, photos and pictures, no rhyme or reason to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get all nine of these tiles decorated and then get ready to download my design so that I can print it out on my uh, Honestly Spinking paper. That's the paper I'll be using for this um, project. It is legal size, which is eight and a half by 14. Um, I have my presets already set um, for my printer. So I just click in once I'm ready to print and I, um, select which preset I want. I have one set for letter size paper and then I have another set for legal size paper. So if you want to know more about my um, printer settings and my presets and all that kind of stuff, let me know and I might do a video on it um, in the near future. But yeah, um, after I finish the design process, you will see me um, go ahead and get into the actual project.
Now that I have all nine tiles designed, I have printed them out and I'm going to just take the time to cut each one of them out. I'm trying my best to get all the white um, from around the outside um, completely off as well as maybe clipping the corners a little bit. I thought it would make sense to do this way with the black border so that I would know exactly how big to make these. I didn't want to make them too big and I didn't want to make them too small. So the black border will, will just help me to keep them within the boxes on the tote bag. And that'll make more, more sense once you see the tote bag um, because it's like a black tote bag with white squares. So yeah, I'm just going to cut all of these out. And once I'm done, we're going to move over to the heat press to press this project. So with all my little tiles cut out, the first thing I'm going to do with this tote bag is try to press it a little bit or pre-press it because it was very wrinkled and I didn't think my images would come out good if I didn't. And then I'm just going to place each tile where I want it to go on the bag. Um, this was a little tricky because of course you can't see what's on the other side once you place it. You can't see where exactly you've placed it. So I just tried my best and in the end only one of them was just a little bit off but not enough to really bother me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get all of these placed and then I am going to press this bag for 60 seconds at 375. The Honestly Speaking paper says that you only need to press for about 45 seconds at 365 I believe. But I just put it at 375 and I pressed for a whole 60 seconds just to be on the safe side and um, my results came out beautiful. The one thing I did forget in this video on this tote bag, it didn't even cross my mind, was to lint roll. So I noticed the blue squiggles of course on it but you can't really tell because of all the decoration that's on the tiles themselves once the bag is um, done and you'll see that in the end but yeah let's just go ahead and get all these um, tiles on here and then we'll get these pressed and we'll see the final result Okay, so it is all done. Now let's reveal these squares and see how we did. I believe this first square is the first is the only one that kind of messed up and shifted a little bit and I got a little bit of white edge as you'll see once I get the tape off. Um, but all the rest of them came out beautiful. The colors are vibrant. As you can see the right there that white edge, it kind of shifted over too far. But that's fine. It's just for my daughter. But the rest of them, do you see that color? The rest of them came out so nice. And um, I really, really enjoyed this project. It was so fun to make. Like you can do anything in these squares. You can make a memorial bag or, or I don't know, put all your kids' pictures in, in a different square or you the, the possibilities are endless. And so I look forward to making another one. I do have another one to um, make so I'm, brainstorming on what I'm gonna do with that one but yeah this one came out beautiful and I loved this project so much
I just want to thank everybody again for watching this video. Give it a like, um, subscribe, um, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're preparing for your um, back to school. I know it's coming up quick, less than a month for me actually, I'm going to start back my homeschool. But again, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.